Now we study part A, rational approximation. For approximation, a common choice is polynomials. Uh, polynomials have advantages. There are many kinds of polynomials to approximate any continuous function. They are easy to evaluate and their derivatives and integrals exist and are easily determined. However, they show a disadvantage. They have tendency for oscillation and often uh, result in the error bound to exceed the average approximation error significantly. Okay, let's begin with the uh, definition of rational functions. R. A rational function of R of degree n has this form, a polynomial over a polynomial. So it is a, a, a fraction of polynomials and the degree sum uh, from top and bottom is n. Now we uh, define the Pade rational function of degree n, which is n plus m uh, in this form. This uh, Pade rational function will be an approximation. Now in this form, top has degree n and the denominator has degree m. Now the constant for the denominator is 1, so that this approximation is about 0, so that x is small, then denominator is far from 0, so the rational function is well defined. Okay. For the form of uh, part A, rational function. Now we have to decide the coefficients uh, p0 to pn and q1 to qm. There are capital N plus 1 constant to be determined. We start with this requirement for the difference for original function and the part A rational function the derivative is up to nth order, evaluated at 0 is 0. This requirement is in fact common when you try to get tail expansion. Also, a tail expansion will satisfy this uh, condition. Okay, so it is not really a special requirement for Pade um, approximation. Okay, let's begin with now f, a given function. And for the function, we try to make Taylor series expansion about zero, so it becomes Maclaurin uh, expansion. Now, with that, here f is this Maclaurin um, expansion, and r is p over q. So that by combining, we can reach at this one. Now we require this condition. But this condition will be satisfied uh, when uh, we try to choose the, okay, A is already given. So unknown in this computation is P values and Q values. And so that for this one, the numerator, we try to choose Q and P values such that now uh, it is zero up to uh, degree N, capital N. Uh, in this case, uh, this condition will be satisfied so that rather than using derivative technique, we try to um, find the Q values and P values such that up to degree capital N, 
and the coefficient is zero, so that it will be zero. So first non-zero term is now uh, x to the capital M plus one. So we'll try to choose P and Q in that way. Okay. Now uh, we start with uh, this initialization. In fact, these values are not necessary, but when we try to formulate the equations for P and Q, we may use that so that initialize to be zero over QM and PN. So everything is zero here. Now, once we expand and try to uh, collect the coefficients from constant and now first order and second order and up to x to the capital N, then the constants can be written in this form. So we have to find p values, q values such that uh, this um, m plus 1 equations are completely zero. Okay, so it is a linear system and you can find it quite easily. Okay. Okay, here we, uh, in this uh, summary that is uh, summarized uh, part the approximation, F has a uh, Maclaurin series uh, given in this form, then the rational function for part the approximation results from the solution of uh, the m plus 1 linear equations. So um, this uh, m plus 1 linear equations for m plus 1 unknowns, uh, you can get the solution. Then along with these p values, q values, now you can finalize the Pade rational function. Let's see one example. Find the Pade approximation to e to the minus x of degree 5 with n equal 3 and m is 2, which means the numerator has degree 3 and denominator has degree 2. Okay, here we have a maple code. Now, first we try to find the Maclaurin series by using Taylor command and convert it to be polynomial, having now m plus one term so that it is a nth of the polynomial. Now we uh, collect the coefficients and then we initialize, of course, q0 is 1 and the extra p and q values initialize it to be 0. And then we named the equations here, these equations from case from 0 to n. We uh, now equations are defined as equation 1, equation 0, equation 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then for those equations, now for the parameters, constants, we solve by using the built-in function solve. And then after getting the solution, so PQ will include uh, the solution in this in this way. For example, first component will be uh, P0 equal a numeric value, P2 is uh, some numeric value, and so on, so that the solution will be given in this way. So here, the right side for each component, we try to choose the right side to get the constant. And then here, uh, we fo formulate uh, a polynomial for the top and for bottom. Again, we try to formulate uh, another polynomial. Then that's it here. The output of the function for e to the minus x and 3 and 2, and we have that one. Let's look at the Pade rational 
approximation for given function. Get the solid curve, e to the minus x, is going down and around there, it will become almost zero, very rapidly uh, uh, reducing function. Now, it's Hade approximation R32 is given in this way. Around the zero, it is really well uh, uh, approximating the given function. So Pade approximation is in many cases better than polynomial approximation. You may check this, for example, by using fifth order polynomial and try to plot for the given function, then you'll see and the Pade rational function approximates better. So you can easily check. If you are interested in, you can check it yourself. Now, by using the built-in function um, here, now after getting Taylor, and for the Taylor uh, uh, series, we can convert to get rational polynomial, which is Pade approximation. As you can see here, this is the output, and which is the uh, same as this one. Okay, so our implementation is correct. Okay, that's the end of the section. Thank you.